Okay, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to uh, find the possible values for the order of a subgroup H such that um, there is a subgroup K, which is a subgroup of H, and H in turn is a subgroup of a group G, right? So as you can see on the top right corner, the relation between the subgroups and the group G is given. So it can be thought of as G to be a big group, right? And inside that lies a smaller subgroup called H. And inside that, there is another yet another subgroup called K. And it has been given to us that the order of group G is 660, which means that the number of elements is 660. And uh, the order of group subgroup K is 66, which means that the number of elements in the subgroup K is 66. Now, what are we going to use here is the Lagrange's theorem, right? So Lagrange's theorem states that the order of subgroup, order of a subgroup, divides the order of the group, right? So, for example, 2 divides 4, right? So, if 4 is the order of the group, then the order of the subgroup can be 2. I mean, we there may not be a subgroup of order 2. The existence is not the question here, right? It's not a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a subgroup. But if at all there is a subgroup, then the order of the subgroup should divide the order of the group. That's what this particular theorem tells us. Okay, now in order to solve this problem, note that uh, we have got our subgroup K as a subgroup of the subgroup H. So this means that the order of K divides the order of H, right? And since H is a subgroup of G, this implies that the order of H divides the order of G. And of course, some values are given to us. Now, um, since subgroup of the order of K divides the order of H, we can say that the order of H is equal to A times so the order of K, right? Where A is a positive integer. This comes from the definition from the Euclid's division lemma. And if order of H divides order of G, from here we can write that the order of G is equal to B times order of H where B is an arbitrary positive integer. Now, some values are given to us. It's given that order of K is equal to 66 and the order of G is equal to 660, right? So we can write down two equations over here. So the first equation is order of H is equal to 66 times a let's name that as the first equation and the second equation would be 660 is equal to b times order of h which is let's say the equation number two now what we'll do here is as uh, so so the order of h is an unknown quantity to us right we need to find out the order of h so just so that we don't lose track of what we need to find out order of h is unknown what is the order of h that's what we have to find out cool let's let's now substitute um, the order of h in the second equation by the first equation right so the sec first equation is used to substitute in the second equation right and that gives us 660 is equal to b times 66a right and that in turn 
gives us 660 is equal to 66 multiplied by AB. What we will do now is we will find out the possible values of AB. Right? So possible values of AB. So there is just one possible value of AB. Correct? The possible value of AB is equal to 10. Now you see A and B are both uh, re re positive integers. Correct? So a if A and B are both positive integers, what we can do is we can write down A as equal to 1, B as equal to 10. Or maybe we can write down A as equal to 2, B as equal to 5. Maybe A is equal to 5, B as equal to 2. And there is another yet another value over there, right? A as equal to 10 and B as equal to 1. Now, if you look carefully over here, the equation 1 and equation 2, right? Order of H from equation 1, order of H is 66 times a a is 1 so we get 66 over here if from the second case second scenario order of h is 66 times a a is 2 which gives us 132 in the third case order of h again is 66 multiplied by a which is 5 from there we get 330 and the last case, order of h is equal to 66 times a, a is 10, we get as 660. So therefore, therefore the possible values for possible values for order of the subgroup h are 66, 132, 330, and 660 and that completes the problem my dear friends thank you for watching